Joy's a little slow. She's getting older, but uh, she's a great otter, and she has certainly been a great addition to our surrogate program. What we're feeding them today is uh, very similar to what they would get in the wild. They're getting clams and shrimp and some squid. And Joy was just sent over to the window, and she's being rewarded for going when she was asked by give, being given a piece of food. As uh, Keith was saying, we do use each training opportunity or each feeding opportunity as a training opportunity. The training that we're teaching the otters is not to teach them tricks, but we want them to learn um, how to be comfortable with us as people so that we can get close to them when we need to to be able to take care of them. We also uh, want to teach them behaviors that make it less stressful for them. So we do a lot of things that um, help us to have take care of them in husbandry, but it also is a lot of things that just keeps them mentally stimulated. They have to always be thinking about, okay, what do I have to do next to get the next bite of food? And they're very good about responding well so that we can give them food. We never withhold food from the otters, but we do use that food as a motivator to get them to do the training. So Tula's been asked to follow Hannah over to this side, and you'll see she said, was told she was good and she was rewarded with food. When the trainers are working with the otters, if you're watching them carefully, you'll see that they're talking to the otters as well as um, giving them hand signals. So right there, um, Chris was able to touch uh, Joy on her belly, and that's really important to be able to touch the otters and uh, be able to get that close.